Hello world, welcome back to your aviation news channel. Today we have a lot to talk about, so without further ado, let's get into it. Refuse to wear a face mask? Airlines will then ban you from taking future flights with them. Of course, they should definitely be doing this. The United States of America should be placing this order given that they have a little bit more than 2 million cases of the coronavirus. To help protect the spreading of the virus, many US carriers are adding more strict rules and enforcing mask wearing aboard their planes, including potentially banning passengers who refuse to wear a mask. The announcement comes in leo of a federal regulation requiring all passengers to wear masks, the sort of enforceable measure that governs requirements to wear seatbelts and not smoke. Delta Airlines and United Airlines have come out with specific statements warning passengers of the consequences of not facing, not wearing a face covering during flights, and today I will talk more about what they are doing. So first we're going to show how Delta is responding to this situation. Recently, Delta issued a statement emphasizing the importance of face masks in its effort to stop the spread of COVID-19. Delta said passengers are required to be wearing a mask to board and must keep it on during the duration of the flight. Those who choose not to comply with this or other safety requirements risk future flight privileges with Delta, which is in keeping with the face covering enforcement policies Airlines for America recently announced. Wearing a seatbelt during takeoff is also a requirement, and that is it taking its mask requirements just as seriously. The airline said it will send digital notifications to its passengers before flights and will provide reminders during passage. Here's what United does. United Airlines came up with its own separate announcement stating that if you refuse to wear a face mask starting June 18th, you could find yourself on a restricted travel list. Here's how United laid out the process for at least the next 60 days for people who issue a mask. First, flight attendants will inform you of the mandatory mask requirements if you're not wearing a face covering, and you do not fall within a small group of exceptions. If you don't have a face covering, flight attendants will offer you one. Bring your own face mask from home or United will supply you with one for your flight. If some flyers still refuse to wear a mask, the attendants will do their best to de-escalate the situation and again inform the customer of United's policy. United's policy does not include removing a passenger who still refuses to comply, but the attendants will file an incident report. The airline said that any final decisions or actions regarding a customer's future flight benefits will not occur on board, but instead take place after the flight has reached its destination and then the security team will investigate the incident. Each carrier has its own rules. Six other major US airlines such as JetBlue, American or Southwest pledged to roll out new policies requiring masks, also enforced with a penalty as severe as a ban on flying with that particular airline. Each airline will determine the appropriate consequences for passengers who are not complying with the rules of the airline's face covering policy up to the, and including suspension of flying privilege on that airline. Other airlines are expected to lay out specific policies as well as enforcement procedures for crew members to follow in the coming days. Tensions can rise between passengers who wear a face mask and those who don't. Flight attendants weren't the only people upset about some people not wearing masks. Passengers who are cooperating with mask requirements have been infuriated with their non-masking wearing seatmates in the past. So what you guys should know, if you are planning on traveling during this time for any reason, make sure to bring a mask and hand sanitizer so that you can stay healthy and also help other people from any of these banning conflicts. It simply is better for everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Also thank you so much for 180 subscribers, it really means a lot to me to keep continuing uh, what I do on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe, click that notification bell icon on the side, also leave a like, comment, and share this video further, and you guys have a fabulous day. Bye.